Wathamaya and Mishidi, what is brewing? As some mischievous fans are alleging that the both couples have separated. Can you can you imagine that? After Miss Trudy's trip to Jamaica, how true is this? You will get to know in this video. You are welcome to my channel. I'm Ami React over here. I do just I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do all by liking the video. Kindly do all by subscribing to the channel. Ghana baby and his Ghana stroke Kenyan Jalof. Miss Trudy are in the news again. And this time around, fans are up to nothing good in their comment section. Miss Trudy recently went to Zimbabwe and Wadamaya took to her comment section to say, You made it to Zimbabwe. Congrats. Miss Trudy replied, saying, After seeing your video, I had two. This has brought a lot of reactions from some of their fans that felt, Why should Miss Trudy be, you know, going to Zimbabwe just because she saw his video? That does that mean that they did not discuss it at home? This one now said, she didn't tell you before she left. I guess you guys are separated. I'm like, ah, ah. is it human being not thinking the normal way they're supposed to think or, or what's going on? Then someone replied to the person saying, after seeing his video, do you guys not talk anymore? What's going on? I see Trudy is not living in Maya's million dollar mansion anymore. Something brewing. Can you imagine? So I replied on that saying, it's too early. It's too early. You don't start your nonsense. Should they explain their daily lives to you? Don't start your unnecessary attacks. Yes. Miss Trudy saying, or the Maya saying, oh, you're in Zimbabwe. And Miss Trudy is like, oh, yes. After watching your video doesn't mean as a couple in their home they did not discuss or they, they, they did not talk yes even if oh for example as at the time miss trudy took on that trip what they was not at home of course they would discuss on phone hey baby i'm going to zimbabwe i'm like all right what's your budget it's okay send me your account number let me send you some money so I don't know why people just read meaning into anything that has to do with this couple, which to me, I feel it's very, very okay. It's very, very normal. This is social media. But you, you know, saying you think they're separated, like, do you really dislike them so much that you pray for them to be separated? This one now says, looks like you miss Miss Trudy a lot, that you want everything she has, including her husband. Go and marry your own husband and leave fake account alone. You are definitely a woman and not a man. Yes. This one now said, it's too early to start your nonsense. They explain their daily lives to you. Don't start to... Yes. Because I don't know why Miss Trudy should put out a post like that. And the next thing, you're, you know, though Miss Trudy and with the Maya's um, marriage, the way we see it, they are both content creators. Miss Trudy is a Kenyan content creator. Wadamaya is a Ghanaian content creator. But Miss Trudy now is married to a Ghanaian man. So she has automatically become a Ghanaian content creator. So talks like this, things like this, it really makes me cringe. And that's why I always, you know, advise couples, I always advise people to be careful on how they bring their marriage issues online. Or how they, you know, display their marriage online. Let's read this comment first. This one says, nothing is brewing. Enjoy, baby girl. This one says, thank you, Wada Maya and Miss Trudy. For your videos, we are able to see all the greatness of Africa and the bulky areas in the world. Thank you, thank you. Like I was saying, guys, this is part of the reasons why I'm, uh, you know, I'm very, very keen on how partners display themselves online why because just imagine this husband and wife just doing their thing and someone's in the comment section praying for them to be separated now imagine they have a little fight and then they come out here and start saying oh there was a time i and uh, were they separated i was done with the marriage i was you know and then tomorrow these same people that 
seeing them happy makes them so sad. When they now come out to bring out such content, it makes them happy. That's always tell content creators that are married. Be careful of the kind of story times you do on your channel. Because there are lots of envious people out there. This one says they are content creators, both husband and wife. They have to make everything dramatic and inclusive. I don't think they have been separated. Yes, this one says people out here don't have a life. They live trolling others and putting funny comments about other people they follow online. Come on, get a life. Yes. Come on, get a life. Because I don't get it. I don't. Like this person said, they are content creators, so they have to make everything dramatic. You just imagine well, the Maya did not drop that dramatic comment in the studio's comment section, and we should did not drop that com a dramatic reply. I will not be here reacting on them. And trust me, they might even be in their parlor and say, Oh, um, um, um Maya. Drop this kind of comment so you know reactions can come up, so our fans can, you know, talk. It's part of content creation, but I understand. But you, for you going that deep, wishing them being separated, you see two young couple, man and woman, who are in love, and then you sit down and you start wishing they are separated. It's not a nice thing. It's not a nice thing. Just imagine Miss Trudy is your sister, and you come online and you see someone wishing that her marriage, you know, breaks up. Will you be happy? You won't be happy. So why go to through this comment section and drop such comments? So that's just one thing about social media. Couples should guide what they put out there. Like there was this Canadian couple I was watching the other day, and the man was just opening up how he doesn't eat his wife's food when she's when he's angry with her, and the woman was just saying how she goes to her friend's place to sleep when her husband is angry with her. And in the comment section, people were laughing, and I was like, "What is this?" What is this? I know you're all trying to do content, but you have people that deep down are not happy for you. So when you come up with such content, when you come up with such updates, it's like you are giving them things to be happy about. Because them be seeing you happy makes them sad. So automatically, you being sad makes them happy. So why would you want to make your haters, why would you want to make your trolls happy? Just because you want to create content. Although I know your life does not depend on trolls. You don't even care on what they say. But I would just say let's be guided. But feel free to drop your own opinion about the comments Miss Trudy was giving in her comment section. And also with the Maya's reply. Do you think it was too dramatic? Let me know in the comment section. I'm Ami React over here. I do just I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do well by liking the video. Kindly do well by subscribing to the channel. Please feel free to like, turn on your bell. So when I upload the very next video, you'll be the very first person to get notified. Bye guys.